four years ago, an early morning blaze took away part of what made the Mississippi Agriculture and Forestry Museum so unique. Current United States Senator and then State Commissioner of Agriculture Cindy Hyde-Smith remembers the day well. Four years ago at about 4 o'clock in 2014, my bad day got started when the, uh, I got word that the fire was here, came in through that front gate. And today, I just want you to know the staff that is out here is totally incredible. You know, when you have a major event that was a disaster that day and you see everybody go into action, I could not have been prouder of that staff than on that very moment. But from those ashes, the Agriculture and Forestry Museum will be whole again by adding a children's barn and multi-purpose building. The museum as a whole celebrates the past, present, and future of Mississippi farming and ranching. And with this ceremony, there's something new on the horizon for agriculture in the state. Obviously our domesticated animals are such an important part of our ag system in the United States and we haven't had the facilities to talk about it yet. And you know what we do out here is we really try and, and create a situation in which people can come out and get inspiration for careers. And um, to not be able to have uh, an, a facility in which we're talking about animals in which they can learn about them and all, everything that goes into it too. The latest addition will again introduce agriculture to the next generation through a hands-on experience with farm animals and reinforcing all that ag does for Mississippi. These kids, you know, they're going to come out and uh, I know that I used to have um, goats with my grandfather, right? And I, I got all the way into agriculture after that, you know, goats, horses and everything. And uh, these kids might come up here and they see that and then, you know, they might get an organization like uh, FFA or 4-H or something like that. And then, you know, you might have a farmer on your hands. You might have the next uh, commissioner of agriculture and commerce. You never know. And, uh, you know. Any time that we can invest in the next generation of kids and, and give them an appreciation, you know, that's gonna that's what's gonna make Mississippi's agriculture the one of the best in one of the best in the country. And that's something we at the Mississippi Farm Bureau Federation support wholeheartedly. We need to tell our story and the, the kids uh, now that grow up uh, in the cities and even some in the rural areas don't really understand uh, agriculture and to have anybody here through uh, through all of the uh, uh, things that we do, whether it's veterinarians or, or an actual farmer here, all of those stories uh, educate those kids and, and will give them a positive view of farmers uh, when they get older. The new facilities are expected to be open by October of this year.